We lost Sam today. It was Hannah who saw her sneaking off to the computer room. Hannah didn't have to say anything. We all knew that Sam had caved in and gone to see if there were any news from her mum and dad. We've all felt like doing it at some point. When we ran up there, it was too late. Sam's clothes were in a puddle on the floor and she had gone, just like all the others. Stupid girl. Hey, at least we know the virus is still alive. I vote that we destroy the computer. We'll all give in, in the end. Nothing has changed. If a cure is ever found, we'll need the computer to contact any other survivors. And who's going to check it? And when to find out? She's right. While the last computer is still on, we're all at risk. Yeah, because like I'm going to go up there any time soon and check. You're the one who wants to find out if the computer virus is still alive. You go check. It's been a year. We'd have heard from someone by now if there were any survivors left. We're not turning it off. It's the last working computer for heaven's sake. Just use some self-control and we'll be fine. Like poor Sam, you mean? I'm in charge, remember? Zizi, clear up this mess. Saima, it's your turn on the gate. Mum always told me that the world had become too reliant on technology. She made me do phone-free Mondays, where she would lock up my phone, unplug the computer, and take away my Xbox controllers. I hated her for it, but it saved my life. Funny that the biggest disaster in human history, the day that computer viruses jumped into humans, will go unrecorded, except in a few survivors' notebooks like mine. And now there's just a few of us girls hiding out in this school. I guess hope is all we have. No one's that clean anymore. You know what that means? It means she's not on her own. And if they're organised enough to do laundry, then there's food. All right, boys, who feels ninja today? You shouldn't waste your batteries on reading. We've used up all the batteries from every supermarket round here. Listen, you idiots, I'm only reading so I know how to keep us alive. Hey, Rachel, can you do the next duty? I'm knackered. OK, if I have to. Saima, what is it? Boys, at the gate, trying to come in. Weapons, now! Are we going to fight? Let's do it. Not yet. What's happening? energy till we need it. Sorry boss. Where's the canteen? It's a school. There must be a canteen. Yeah, let's, let's just go straight to the canteen. Yeah, Alice, where are they most likely to have their defences? Let's go straight there and get ourselves killed. All right, I'm hungry. We're all hungry, but let's just play it safe, okay? So what now? Yeah, what's your genius plan this time? We're going on a girl hunt. And then what? If we catch a girl, we can't eat a girl. No, but we can force us to tell us where the food is. Don't give her the virus, that's not fair. Shut up, Ellis, I'm in charge, you moron. Dylan's right. All we can do is get some food and get the hell out of here. Oh, I didn't say anything about leaving. Where are they? 
How many are there again? Five or six, they all had weapons. Guns? They're our age. They've got brims with knives on them, just like us. Oh no. I don't care what they've got. This is our home turf. They don't know their way around. And we've got plenty of booby trap. I don't like it. What if one of us gets killed? You should be used to it by now. How many of us were there at the start? Eleven? Yeah, and the others were all killed by that computer upstairs. It's getting late now. Let's go hide out for the night. I feel like we should go after them, but they don't have light and they're probably going to hold up for the night too. We should go to Nest too. It's easier to defend. Guys, what do you think about this? Nah. Nah. Alice, mate, you look like you're auditioning for a part in a panto. My mum had a jacket like this. Who was she, Widow Twanky? Don't say anything about my mum. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 What idiot. Seriously guys, you can't go for a pee without you two just kicking off. We've got a big day tomorrow, remember? Save your energy up until then. Put them down. Put them down. I said put them down. Spit shake. Ugh. Now. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get scouting before it gets too dark. It shouldn't be too hard to find the canteen. Alright. Nathan and Ellis will go here. Ruth will go here. And me and Callum will cover here. They will pop back here after 20 minutes. Look! There's one! There's scouting! I should have thought of that! He's walking towards the bear trap! Let's hope he steps on it then. Oh no, the poor thing. Give it a rest. It's us or them. Hey, why don't we just go over and talk to them? Yeah, they might be nice. Look at the state of him, the dirty pig. Simon's right, they have knives and spears too. So have we. So what? Ah! No! Christ! Ah. <laughs> Good riddance. Oh no, I can hear him crying. But he can't do us any harm now, can he? Sure. And then they'll have no reason to get revenge on us. I guess we're going to have to kill everyone now. That's just great. I used to moan about it, but I prefer the times when I need to do homework for a living. Me too. Stop whining. Don't be so weak. Why am I stuck with such a bunch of moaners? Rude much. Hey, where's Amber? Stupid little. She'll get us all killed. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, jeez. Don't kill me, please. I'm not going to kill uh, anyone. Are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Can I help you? I can tie your shirt around it. Try to stop it from bleeding. I don't think I can stand. It really please hurts. Please take my hand. I'll help you up. Thank oh, oh, no, no, no. Why did you do that for? Stop me for it. Us against them. Come on, you idiot. I'll bury him later with the others. Oh, me and Callum went to the same nursery. We've been friends for years. It's almost as bad as when we lost Stephen. Stephen was an idiot, running into an internet cafe like that. Yeah, half again a fortnight and virus got him. Stupid Stephen. Well, well, I miss him. I knew, I knew him for ages. Yeah, you and him made the Justin Bieber fan club. Shut up, everyone. It's getting dark. We just need somewhere to get rest and food. There's a canteen over there, but it's risky. We could look in teachers' fridges. They have lots of food and stuff. Some gone off soya and a falafel that's crumbled to dust. A beer bottle left over from a Christmas party. Just great. Rory, Niffin, you take the first guard watch. 
me and Alice will take over our... Then, then we'll find the girl and get the keys to this place. Dear Mum and Dad, Today was the scariest day of all. I don't like these girls, but at least I feel safe with them. But these boys are really scary. I'm not sure what's worse, their spears and axes, or the fact that none of them have washed for a year. Neve seems determined that we wipe them out. I think she thinks she's in Star Wars or something. There's not much I can do either to help or stop her. I refuse to kill anyone, just like you taught me, but I don't want to die either. I miss you both so much. In my head, you're both out there looking for me, but I guess that's wishful thinking. Simon, what are you doing? Get some sleep. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. So, from what I can tell, the canteen is over there. And to get there, we need to go through the big playground here or across the benches here. I don't want to go through the benches. Look what happened to Callum. But we'll be exposed going through the playground. OK, it's plan. Me and Dylan will go through the benches. Ellis and Rory, you go through the playground. Agreed, and when we get there, two two formation in the corridor. So what's the plan, then? We need to find their food source or get into from the girl. Don't worry, Rory, everything's going to be just fine. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? Is there anything there, Rachel? I don't know. I'll have a look. Hello, girly. Put the knife down. Hands up. D don't kill me. What do you want? Turn around. We're hungry. We just need to know where the food is and how many of you there are. No need to hurt me for that. There's six of us. There used to be a lump in the damn computer upstairs. How is that possible? All well, the electricity ran out six months ago. Solar powered. We keep it on just in case. And food? No miracle here. We grow some and we found some tip food. It's in the canteen fridges, obviously. How much? Enough. Good to have you seen anyone else? No one for months. A few elderly people who didn't have bones, but no one else. They're all dead. Your group. Are they okay? 
We're chill. There's no need to fight us for anything. I can go and introduce you. I heard the landmines earlier. I'm sorry. But you were creeping around. Yeah, but you see, it wasn't just Rory, was it? We found Callum with his leg mangled and a spear in his side. Very friendly. That wasn't me, that was Neve. So you say. Mm. No! No, please! She moaned a lot anyway. Put them down. It was you who killed Callum. His blood's still on the spear. Boy with the axe? I saw them. You assume everyone is a threat? Everyone is a threat, as Hannah would tell you if she was still here. So you're going to kill me too? I am. So why are we talking? Guilty conscience? I don't like doing it. I was a good student, I had good grades. But then I was caught using my phone and it got banned from me for a week. Two days later, everyone was gone. Boo hoo. Okay. What the? Things a bit. What do you want? I want to say sorry about having a go at your mum. That's all right. But also to say, wake up. I am awake. You have to get a grip. That girl in charge of Dylan, they're going to get you all killed. I know. You must kill them both. No, I can't. You have to listen to me. At the top of the building, there's sons of petrol. Get them up there and set fire to it. That's horrible. Then use that knife of yours. I can't. I know. Fire is the only way. The rest of you will get on fine. Hi. 
This is stupid, I'm not gonna hurt you. Why should we trust you? Why should I trust you? I'm sick of people getting killed around here. Why can't you just leave us alone? Because we need food and somewhere to stay. Go to another school. Why can't we just stay here, together? I think Neve would have something to say about that. I don't care. I would be down for it and so would Ellis. Me and Amber would definitely be. Hannah and Rachel too. Okay, let's gather everyone up and have a chat. But what do we do about Neve? Ungrateful idiots. If it weren't for me, they'd all be dead. Who goes there? If only they're all as sharp as me. Rachel, what's the matter? It's Simon and Hannah, they're both dead. I haven't killed anyone. We haven't killed anyone. He's gone proper psycho since he lost his eye. The one with the eye patch? He's dead as well. Thank God. They didn't kill her. She can't take it anymore. I found a pile of clothes next to a phone that was turned on. Poor Simon, how sad. Neve said that the eye patch patch did it. Like I said, I haven't killed anyone. And Ellis wouldn't hurt a fly. We found a kitten the other week. Dylan told Ellis to kill it. Ellis gave it the last of his food and drink. What about the others? Remember, you killed Callum and Rory. And if Dylan's dead, that only leaves your psycho leader. Kill me if you have to. I've had enough. Yeah, me too. We can work better as a team. But we still have to kill Neve though. Rachel! It has to be done. I'm not sure I could do it and look in her eye though. I'm not gonna kill anyone, unless either of you two try anything. I know how to do it. At the top of the building, there's a fuel store. We can get her up there and blow it up. That's where the computer is. What, what computer? computer? The damn computer she won't smash up. It's killed five of us already. It's a pet project. Does it work? Only too well. How did you make the mine that killed Rory? Simple chemistry. Everything was in the made of the science lab. Right, make another one, put it in the fuel store and send your leader up there. If she thinks the computer's at risk. Zizi, get the explosives. You go up there and set up. I'll meet you in the flag room at C block when you're done. What are you going to do? I'll get, I'll get Neve up there. Here, you'll need these if you bump into Neve. Come on, be careful, it's pretty unstable. Uh, uh, Rachel, what happened uh, to you? Where's Simon? The boy's got hurt. I told you, that's why we have to be ruthless. Uh, you're right, I think I finally learnt my lesson. They found out about a computer. What? They found the fuel store. They're gonna try and burn us out. That's what I'd do. <laughs> it's always us or them. You're right. If you want to survive in this world, you have to defeat the enemy. You're so right. There's only two boys left. Leave it to me. Get that cut bandage. Hurry up, I don't want to be here when this lock goes up. Done. Shh, what's that noise? Oh my God, it's Neve. She's talking to herself. Quick, please. Let's go. When she opens that door... Dad always said I was a natural leader. Don't know why they overlooked me at school. Leave. Shh. They'll hear you.
this is your big moment, girl. Time to show them who's boss. That damn computer's finally gone. But anyone within three miles would have seen that explosion. Come on, we need to prepare. Yeah, we have work to do. Follow me. My pleasure. Tell you something, if you boys are going to start staying with us, you need to take some showers. 